In this presentation, we will enter a reversing entry related to notes payable. Time to engage with Sage 50 Cloud Accounting. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars file. We're going to start off by opening up our reports by going to the Reports and Forms drop down. We'll go on down to the Financial Statements, which I missed. We went to the Inventory, but I'll go back up to the Financial Statements now. It's okay. And then we'll go into the balance sheet. So we're going to go into that balance sheet. We're in February, second period, that being February. I'm going to say OK. That's going to open up our balance sheet for the month of February. You'll recall in a prior presentation, we've been looking at these loan payable down below. We're going to be concentrating on that one where we had the short-term portion and the long-term portion. We broke out then the short-term portion here and the long-term portion there in accordance with our amortization table here so here's the amortization table so here's the short term and long term portion we broke out uh between these two amounts and made our our financial statements reflect the short term and long term portion those two adding up of course to the total balance of the the 69878 in other words the loan balance as of the financial statement date is in accordance with the amortization table 69878 however we couldn't record that in one one account we had to break out the short term and long term portion of it into these two components however for the the bookkeeping purposes i like having it in one account right so i would think about you I, I would recommend thinking about the adjusting entry process as being separate and possibly by separate departments completely to do this and then think about how you can work these two things together because there's two different objectives that are basically happening when you do the internal entry kind of process or if you think of them as a different department their main goal is to make things logistically sound easy to do repeatable processes that they can put in place record the bookkeeping as e easily and painlessly as possible the adjusting entry process as of the end of the time period is to make everything correct on an accrual basis as of that point in time period so that they can make the financial statements and report the financial statements in that basis to help with decision making and, and with the use of external users and to conform to to that standard so now that we have done that in the the adjusting process what we need to do is think about well how can i get back to making things logistically easy for the bookkeeping department so and that would be a reversing entry so now that i've broken out between short term and long term between then I'm going to reverse out and bring it back into one account so that when the when the adjusting when the normal bookkeeping process deals with it they can tie it into the amortization table without having to figure out to the long term and short term portion and just realize this is really practical because almost nobody breaks out the short term and long term portion of the loan balance every time they make a payment because you can see that that would be tedious to do so what we're going to do is we're going to keep it in one balance and then and then break it out you know every time we need to do an adjusting entry at the end of the time period in accordance with the amortization table so basically i'm just going to reverse then the entry did we did last time which was to break out the long-term portion of the 56770 and and put it all into one balance again all right so let's do it so we're going to go back on over here and we are then going to go to our uh, tasks and we can actually see this journal entry. Let's actually look at the journal entry before we do this. We could say, okay, this long-term portion, if I double click on it and I double click on the journal entry, there's the journal entry. So we're going to, we're going to reverse this. Exactly. This is the journal entry that we are going to reverse exactly as of the first day of the following time period. So let's do that. I'm going to close this back out and then I'm going to close this back out and then I'll go back into that journal entry format in a different in a different way. So I'm going to go back into our our data input screen. I'm going to then be opening the journal entries from the tasks drop down and then go to the uh, the general journal entry. I'll make this large. Now the key here, this is a reversing entry. We're going to make all reversing entries on the first day of the next time period. So I'm going to make this March 1st that doesn't always conform with basically the best accrual basis thing to do here so remember we're not our goal isn't to be on a perfect accrual basis system for as much time period as possible our goal is to be on a perfect accrual system as of the cutoff date that's what the adjusting entries do and then get back to a logistical good condition as soon as after we can that's what we're going to do with the reversing entries and then make it as easy as possible for us to see what is happening when we do so and by putting all of our reversing entries on the same day the first day after 
the period in the cutoff date that'll make it a lot easier for us to find those those reversing entries so last time we debited account 2500 and, and credited 2700 i would actually usually uh, follow the conformity of using the same you know order of top to bottom meaning i put account 2500 on top so I'm going to still put it on top, even though I'm going to credit it now, right? So I'm going to put 2500 as the current portion, and then I'm going to put it on a credit. So I'm not going to put the debit on top. I'm not going to try to reorder the accounts, in other words, to put the credits on top, because that's more difficult in my mind. I would rather have, you know, the same top to bottom number of accounts and then just reverse the debits and credits. So that's what I'm going to do here. And then we're going to say that this is going to be for the 56770. So that's going to be the amount of the 56770. And then the other side is going to be the 2700. That's the long term portion, which is going to go back down to zero. So we're going to say that's going to be the debit 56770. Then we should put in the description this is a reversing entry. I'm going to copy that. Copy that. Roger out. Roger. And then we're going to put that on the bottom too. So there's the reversing entry. Let's go ahead and save this. That should put everything back into the into the one account. So I'm going to save that out, close this, and then go back to our balance sheet. So let's open up the old balance sheet here. And then as of the end of February, we're still uh, we still have this broken out. Now let's go to the next time period in March. So I'm going to take this up. I'm going to pick this up for. Uh, March, we'll go to the range up top and we're going to be picking up uh, the third period. So March da, 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 and then say, OK, so there we have it. So then if I go back on down, we, we now have in that loan balance, the 69878. So the 69878, which is the full balance here. There's the full balance of the loan. Now we can tie back out to the amortization table. Next time a loan payment is made, it can be made in accordance with this and tie out to uh, this number on the amortization table, not have to worry about our adjusting departments. Funny business of breaking out the loan into a long-term and short-term portion. In the long-term portion, it's no longer there, no longer visible because it's been reversed. It's been uh, taken away. If we want to see it, then you could go to the options up top. You can add the zero balances, say OK, because I want to see the, the, the zoom in feature. And then I could go down here and zoom into that zero, zoom in into the zero, and that'll show us that it had a beginning balance there and there is our reversing entry. So that's going to be it for now. Let's get out of here.